Hey y'all, what's up? Zayim here, another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be on the migrant caravan, um, how I feel about it, some of the things that are going on, um, how politics are using it, and some new stuff I learned. Now, first off, I'm going to start with politics and how it's affecting the caravan. Um, to start off, I'm not going to name any news stations. Um, you're going to probably guess which ones they are. Um, some are saying, you know, drug dealers and human traffickers and, you know, gang members are all coming over here. Just don't get me wrong, um, I'm sure there are plenty of them coming over here. Um, other news stations are saying, you know, there are women and small children coming over here to make better lives for themselves. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there is. Um, as far as the gang members and drug dealers and human traffickers go, okay? We have enough crime and communities in the U.S. as it is, okay? We don't need these people coming over here, you know, getting our gangs back up, making higher rates for our gangs, you know, causing gang wars, causing more violence, um, you know, we don't need that. We got plenty of that going on as it is. As far as the women and children go, I don't have a problem with people coming over here to make good for themselves. You know, if they want to come over here and make a better life for themselves, that is fine. You know, trying to get into a better financial situation, better housing situation, um, you know, something like that is fine. Um, a lot of people miss the point that they just want to bring everybody over here or they don't want to bring nobody over here. Me, personally, I'm in the middle. Like I said, we don't need the drug dealers, human traffickers, gang members, and all of them. But, you know, same principle as if we have to have a passport into them, maybe they should have a passport in here. And there's nothing wrong with that. We have a passport, they have a passport. We go to their country, they come to our country, you know. Nothing bad about that. Now, um, as far as sending the troops down there, like I said, we don't need no more bad. We have plenty of bad as it is. The good, that's fine. You know, come here legally, you know, get your name straight. Don't have 10 different names. You know, get your driver's license. Don't have fake driver licenses or whatever the case may be. You know, worry. Don't lie to yourself, lie to the government, lie to the police. Eventually, they're going to find out it's going to be worse on yourself. Now, how it's all working, uh, I'm not completely sure. I know some people, they're hanging like 10 at a time, or they were, and they're processing them, which is fine. Um, but like I said, there's been violence. You know, I, last I heard, one or two people had died, and 20-some people were injured. Um, that was a week ago, when they crossed through one of the borders. Uh, the Mexican police had to use tear gas, and... You know, people got, have gotten injured and killed since then. Now, uh, going back to politics a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to mention no names. But these people are taking it to the next extreme. They are wanting to kill people, pretty much is what they're saying. These people are talking about getting rid of races because they support what they support. You know, some people, um, white people were saying... You know, they didn't support the uh, illegal immigrants coming over here. This dude said, we need to get rid of all white men. And, you know, some people, some black people didn't support the illegal immigrant. And then this person said, we need to get rid of all black men. You know, when it gets to the point where they are on national TV talking about, we need to get rid of these races. That's the problem in America. That's the problem. When these people start talking about we need to get rid of white men, we need to get rid of black men, white women, black women, that's, that's, they are the problem in America. That is the problem. When people start wanting to get rid of other races, that's the problem. You know, politics, everybody's going to have a different opinion. Almost everybody I talk to has different opinions than me, and that's fine. It's politics. Everybody's going to have different opinions. Hardly anybody's going to believe or get it right on every single subject that is going on. Somebody's going to have a different opinion somewhere. 
Well, it's small or big, but to talk about get rid of races is unacceptable. That's unacceptable. And another thing, bringing presidents into it is, um, especially past presidents, okay? These past presidents did what they did. Um, can't go back and change that, you know? People want to bring... You know, as far back as Bush into it, um, Obama into it. What they did when they were president, you know, we can't go back. Whether you agree with it or not, you know, you can't go back and change what they did. Um, same thing with Trump. Whether you like what he's doing or not, you can't change what he's doing, you know. If y'all disagree with what somebody did or with what someone's doing... And they're higher up. You know, all you can do is protest. But why would you want to go out and block the streets cause riots? That's not what I mean by protest. That's called being animals and being destructive for no reason. By protest, what I mean is, you know, go on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know, make a YouTube channel. That's a great way to get people behind you, get people to support you, people to back you up, uh, people to talk to, people to have conversations with. Same thing with Instagram and Facebook, you know, make videos, um, get people to back you up, get people to support you on your move. And who knows, in the long run, you might, even make, you might get to do it for a career, you know, and, you know, that would be great, and you could still support your met get your message out help support other people get support and then it could be your career but i just wanted to talk about this because you know this is still six weeks out at least you know one or two months out and they're already talking about getting rid of races what do you think is going to happen when it actually gets here and you know people are either supporting it, not supporting it, and then you got a small group of people like me in the middle. Um, so we'll see, you know. But talking about getting rid of races is, I mean, that's just unacceptable. That's having no care for your fellow humans and also no heart. I mean, why would you want to kill people for no reason? Like I said, it's politics. People are going to have different opinions on pretty much everything in politics. It's it's just always been that way and it's going to be that way. But, like I said, to kill people, that's unacceptable. But, if y'all enjoyed this video and agreed with what I talked about, let me know in the comments below and leave me a like. And if y'all disagree with anything I said, let me know in the comments below why. And thank you for watching and have a good day.